God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always prepping. Oh my God, my whole life. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Just had to uh, jump back to Black Ops 3. My, my, you know, that's my game. And I'm running with the Olympia on this one. And, of course, I was fixing to get on World War II last night. And I noticed my buddy Ice was on. And I, you see, I changed my score streaks. And uh, he said, man, um, the triple plays out. I'm trying to get the last two or three weapons I'm missing. Plus, his other goal is to get 100,000 kills with uh, the Duel Marshal. So, he still wants to... Uh, you know, go for those challenges, which I understand that. I told him, I said, well, I've got every weapon in the game. So really, there ain't really any reason for me to be on here other than just reminiscing and enjoying this game that I played for a long time. And um, so, yeah, I told him, I said, I'll, I'll, I'm going to go for a nuclear, man. Uh, something, guys, believe it or not, I've I have went what 40 on this map one time i went 48 and no and didn't get a nuclear uh went 60 and one 50 something and oh a lot of 40s and o's a lot of 30 something and o's and i've never got a nuclear i've got brutal five times but never got a nuclear uh maybe it's because of the score streaks i always run i always run um century uh century wraith and wraps and I think they steal all my kills. So on this one, I'm running UAV, Counter UAV, and Guardian. I play this kind of aggressive in the beginning, but I was, uh, I told him right when I, you know, you saw me set the score streaks up, UAV, Counter UAV. And uh, man, just trying to get this, trying to get these 30 kills without dying gun only. Uh, you can use trip mines and stuff like that. It just, uh, the thing with it is you can't use score streaks to help you get your 30 kills. Now, on World War II, you know, it counts your score streaks and all that. So, hopefully this year will be a little easier getting that um, nuke or what they call it, uh, vicious metal. Look at this. Look at this jump up, come back down. I had some really good movements on this and I was, this was actually, I think my sixth, this was our last game to play of the night and we played like, I want to say six or seven TDMs. So yeah, man, uh, and I was doing, you know, it was a funny story because Ice was talking about when World War II first dropped, probably the first first week it was out and I know it ain't been out a month yet, but the first week it was out. Like, he went to try uh, this game, and he said, man, this is so easy. I mean, but then he was saying that he noticed that it was a lot more sweaties on uh, for some reason. As if maybe they're not playing World War II, and they've come back to Black Ops 3. Which, that is a good analogy, and I'm sure that's probably possible as far as what's going on, why the lobbies was easier a week or so ago, but now they seem to be a little more sweatier because maybe some of the people that was uh, playing World War II stopped playing World War II and came back to playing uh, Black Ops 3. And me personally, I'm, I'm a Treyarch guy. I love Treyarch's games. To me, they're the best. Um... And if this if this wasn't its third year in a row, I would probably play it a little bit more than what I'm going to play it. I'm still going to be playing my World War II and going for the grind. Boop. Look at this, man. Dude almost hits me with them boxing gloves. UAV counter UAV. And now as far as perks and stuff I was using, I was using Six Sense. I was using Scavenger, Dead Silence, and Awareness. With, of course, you see shock charge and trip mines. And I got my hive character, so boom. There's your ruthless. I didn't really get excited till I saw the brutal come up, and then 
I was like, oh my goodness, I might do it on this game. It was really cool. I was excited. It's a long, it, you know, it's a slow burner on this game, but the rewards was awesome for me in the end. Went to go ahead and put some hives out while they were back over here. There we go. Call in that UAV. I got that counter UAV, which is getting me the points. And I was running Guardian just because it's a non-lethal and it'll keep them out of the lane without actually destroying them uh, like a sentry gun would have did. A Guardian, they can walk into it and then bounce out and get away from it. My boy Ice was wrecking him too. He had uh, Wraith and Sentry Gun and a couple things. So he winds up getting his streaks and puts his Sentry on that side. And he calls in his Wraith here in just a minute. There it goes. His Wraith makes it to the map. Look at this guy hiding in the corner. Put that Guardian there. And man, it's amazing of all guns to get the new... I get it with this old Olympia, which is kind of like an old timey war weapon. So I don't know. Boom. I really enjoyed this we weapon when I got it. I like that it's a one and done. I'm, you know, used to running Marshall. So, you know, that, that weapon relentless. That weapon kind of suits the Marshall. It's kind of like the Marshalls, but just a little bit more range. So it's a one sh one and done. Mm, man, mowing them down. Shock charge trip mine. You know I'm going to keep that stuff going. Boom. I'm just bobbing and weaving, guys. Bobbing and weaving at this point. Unstoppable UAV. Counter UAV. Get that Guardian just for distraction, guys. I knew he was in there. I was just baiting him up. I thought he would be popping out any second, but he, he was taking it slow. Fine by me. I'm not going to poke my head out and you're aiming down sight. Brutal. So I'm five away, guys. I was going to bring a TDM on uh, Black Ops 3 and talk about what I hated and what I liked about Black Ops 3 and then a TDM of War and talking about, you know, what I liked and, and didn't like about, or not War, but World War II. I don't know why I keep calling World War II Call of Duty, World War II War. Um, I guess because it's World War II, but... Um, you know, it's it. I'll I'll bring that in another video. This one was just basically about, you know, me getting this nuke. Man, I was just so happy. You'll see once I get it, I kind of froze up, and I think I get killed right right after it. So it didn't matter to me because I was just going for the uh, calling card. And I mean the game. Right before this, we stayed in the lobby, as you can see when I showed you the video. The game before this, I went 19 and 9, guys. So, I mean, it wasn't like it was just such a simple, easy lobby. Uh, yeah, I had to work for that, for those 19 and 9, which, I mean, that's game plays that I can do in World War II, but, you know, I don't know. This is a little more fast paced because of the ex the you know boost abilities. Boom boom. There's your nuclear. 
Got the calling card. Now I was so happy. I was like, oh my God, I got it. I just was like, man, congratulations, bro. And I was like, thank you so much, man. Hell, for having him on my team and 31 and 1. I got the nuclear, so that's all that matters, guys. But having my buddy on my team and mm, now I'm losing every gunfight I get in. It's funny. <laughs> I was just happy to get the nuke, man. I mean, I struggled all, I mean, year, a couple years playing this and come close a lot of times. And just because of my choice of score streaks, like I say, Century, Wraith, and Raps, they go in in a big way and they get you a lot of kills. But unfortunately, they take away from getting the nuclear. So that's why I ran right before this game. I even told them, I said, I'm going to run UAV, counter UAV, Guardian. I'm going for a nuclear. And it was the last game on, too, of the night. I think I got this gameplay about 2 o'clock in the morning. So I was excited, man. I hope you guys enjoy this. This was a struggle for me, so I'm, I'm glad to be able to. It's another little feather in my cap to say I did. And, you know, regardless, I mean, I'm just glad it happened. Mm. I was just hold, trying to hold on to the end of the game, man. Let them score streaks go in. Well, guys, it was a time limit deal, but it didn't matter to me because I got my um, my nuclear medal. My boy Ice got his uh, wraith in in the last ending, and it was going in in a big way. And as you can see, he's got 87,000 kills with the marshals. And... Uh, we placed in the top. I got one. He got two. And thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't World War II, but guys, don't worry. I will be bringing more World War II. I just wanted to play this uh, Black Ops 3 and get the nuclear real quick. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. If y'all would, leave a like, and I will be bringing you more. On time, I'm out, guys.